you enjoy this video guys we found absolutely tons good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'm joined by a very special guest i'm joined by katie from detecting history podcast how you doing katie really good paddy thank you how are you everybody we We've been detecting this field for about half an hour now and we've had a couple nice bits. My dad has just had a very interesting find, I'll show you in a second. It almost looks like an old um, book class, very interesting. And Katie's had a very nice George III half penny, which I'll show you on the smaller camera now. So look, we've done very well so far. Katie's had two nice coins there, that George III is very nice. You can just make out his head facing right there. So that's probably 1770s, 1780s. Another crossy old half penny there, probably George II or George III. And also a nice little watch winder, probably 1850s, 1860s. Which is very nice and a lovely little button as well. Then this was my dad's thing. Very strange. Two little kind of dots there, kind of rings. Um, which kind of makes you think of Saxon, but I don't think it is Saxon. I think it's going to be a book class because there's two holes in there where it would have joined together and then it would have been bent round the book like this. And it would have been hooked onto a little loop and then you would have unhooked it to open the book. And then I had this little piece here that I didn't show you guys, which I think is maybe part of an old buckle and it would have had some like holes in it as detail. But whatever it is, it's definitely old and very nice. Cool, on to the next. Right everyone, got a nice signal here. Very clean, 84. It should be a coin. It's just in the bottom of the hole here, right there. What can we see? Oh, there's something there. What is that? Oh, I think I see a coin, actually. Oh yes, look at that. We've got ourselves a little coin, I think. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's an old one as well. It's a little farthing, I think. Or is it a dreaded 1p? I don't know. Right, I'll clean it up and I'll get some photos. But whatever it is, it's a coin. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful 1862 queen victoria farthing very nice condition so far this day is going very well lots of coins and some nice little artifacts as well got a good signal here everyone nice clean 83 84 it's a bit smaller it sounds very small so it could be something really small like a piece of junk but it's just in here everyone Nice clean signal. So many buttons in this field. I mean, at least there isn't that much junk. Oh, there it is right there. It's a small little round thing. Oh, what is that? I thought it was going to be a bit small. Yeah, it's not even a button. Oh, no, is, is it a button? No, it's like a little washer hole going through the middle there. Nothing too special, everyone. Look at that, everyone. I think my dad had a big Roman coin. Right, let's do the reveal. Oh, I definitely think it is. See anything? Oh, it's very crusty. But I can definitely make out a figure in the middle there. Oh yeah, look at that. Just see a figure standing up there. That is beautiful. So I think that's going to be a Dupondius. Is one of the big Roman coins that you get, not the biggest though. I'll give it a better clean up off camera and I'll get you some photos, but that is stunning. Already on the Roman. Get in. So everyone, I just had a nice signal, it was about 84, it was very shallow and it sounded a bit too loud, but I was going to dig it anyway. It was right on the top, I literally just put my knife in the ground and pulled it up, and I can't believe what I found. I really didn't expect this, I thought it was going to be like a can or something. But look, I've got a very nice looking buckle just there. It's like a spectacle buckle, but it's got like a triangle on each end. It is very nice though, I think it could be easily kind of 17th century. 
Oh, it's got some lovely decoration as well. I couldn't believe that. Look, literally, I put my knife in. It was wasn't even that deep. It was like right at the top here, and you're a couple inches down, and we've got probably a 400, maybe even 500 year old buckle there. That is stunning. There's definitely some detail on the outside. I'll clean it up and I'll get a close up video for you guys. Look at that, that is stunning. There isn't too much pattern, but there's like almost a dot on each end, just like that. But it is very, very nice. It's very good condition. It's a nice buckle, probably 17th, 16th century. Spectacle buckle, absolutely stunning. Chuff with that. Another very interesting find here. It looks like a little out you can see there's some lovely detail in it i'm not going to clean it up now because i want to keep detecting but it's sadly a little bit snapped at the end there but not sure what it would have been maybe a belt decoration or on a piece of furniture whatever it is it's probably 15 16 maybe 1700s and it's very nice here are some of katie's finds guys a nice mixture some interesting bits there's a very nice button just there which is very nice. Nice bit of gold around the edge as well. Potentially part of an old brooch there as well. Lovely little buckle. And this really interesting coin. I'd say it's a Jetton because you can see the ring around the outside and the writing looks old, but it's quite thick. So I'm not sure it's one, but it's definitely probably 16, 1700s coin, which is awesome. Good job, Katie. Thank you, Paddy. Great signal here, everyone very very nice about 74 this area around here it's so so noisy i've been thinking there could have been like an old roman road here because we've had two roman coins off this field now um two very nice ones as well we had another one on a previous dig a couple of weeks ago and there could easily be a roman road here because it's so noisy it sounds like a roman field and this signal is very very nice this one could easily be a roman coin you could just imagine there being an old roman road here you can imagine the soldiers walking through, maybe an old fort in the distance. I mean, I do actually know there is an old fort up there on a hilltop. But anyway, here's the signal. It's a 74. It's nice and clean. It's in the hole. It's just here. Oh, this would just be amazing if it's a Roman coin. Come on. Oh, that's it there. Which is, by the looks of it, oh, it looks like an old piece of just a pipe, but it does look old. The metal's old. It's turned this lovely green colour, which is oxidised after being in the ground for a very, very long time. So, yeah, it's super, super green. But whatever it is, even though it's nothing too special, it could easily be kind of 14, 1500s. It's very, very nice. I've had a couple more bits as well as that just beforehand. I had an old thimble earlier and also a palm guard, but you've got to wait till the roundup to see those. Oh my goodness, right, everyone. Katie, come over here, I want you to see this as well. So I just had a very loud signal, it was about a 92, 93 um, in the hole. It was very shallow, so I just got my knife and was about to pull it out. And I saw this round thing, I thought it was going to be a coin, it was an amazing signal. And it was like a round thing, it looked a little bit silver, but I didn't think too much of it. I put it back in the hole and I turned it around and there's some like big detail on it. It's something, it's something very special. It's definitely silver and it's big as well, here it is. Look at that. I think I saw hallmarks and look, there's like a design on that side as well. I have no idea what it is. I think it's going to be silver. The fact it was such a good signal. Oh yeah, look, there's like a little loop at the top. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's very nice. I think it's silver, I'm not sure. It looks very silver. Oh, I've got some water, thank you. Let's see what you got. Oh my goodness. I don't know what this is on here. Almost just like a, a shield. Oh wow, look at that. I don't know if it's really old though. I don't think it's 100% silver because there is some corrosion on here. It's silver layered. Oh my goodness, that is very nice. I wonder if it opens. Oh, that'd be amazing. I'm not going to force it, but 
I think it's some sort of locket. Might have been on a on a, a necklace. And there might be some something inside if it opens. Yeah, it definitely opens, look. I don't want to open it. I want to wait till I get home just in case it breaks. But that is insane, guys. Right, I'll clean up a bit more and get you some photos. That is very cool. Well done, Paddy. Wow, that is crazy. Well, it did kind of open. I tried to force it a little bit one way. You can see right there. But then it just did open the, the right way. And you can see there's glass in there. And it looks like there's some paper at the back there. And it probably would have had a picture of someone on there. Which is very, very cool. Very unique. Uh, it's probably Victorian. It's probably a family crest there. But I'll clean it up a lot more at home. It's very, very nice. Sadly, it's not full silver. But you've got the silver on the back. I just dropped some of the glass. I'll pick that up in a second. But it's a very, very cool find. Never had a locket like this with so glass in it and the paper this big before. So that is very cool. I'm very happy with that. Look at that. That would have been a insane crotal bell. Sadly, it's only part, but look at that stunning detail. Probably 17, 1800s. Old crotal bell would have been hanging off the side of a carriage. Would have been belonged to someone very rich as that is a very nice crotal bell beautiful don't often get them with that amount of detail absolutely stunning this field is chucking up loads nice signal here right on the top this is my dad's signal he called me over try to test it out it's right on the top so i'm not really sure it could be a coin as there is lots of things shallow on here but also it could be a can or something it's just here it is a 90, a 92 on my machine, and it was a 94 on Katie's Deus 2, sorry, Deus 2. And there it is. I can see it. It's going to be a big buckle. There's absolutely loads of buckles in this field, but at least it's not drunk. Nice old D buckle, probably. 1870s, 1880s. It's a good find. I'll take that. Nice signal here, everyone. It's crazy. Today it is January the 7th and it is very cold today and so I've got all my gear on and it was crazy. Over the Christmas holidays it was about 11 degrees when we were going out and now we've come to January and it's about 4 degrees today. Absolutely mental. 77 there. I mean that's just how the English weather works so really isn't it? It's a bit weird. It'll probably start snowing in April. I wouldn't mind that though because I do like a bit of snow. Anyway, enough waffling. Here we are. 74, out. Oh, and I can see it already. I don't even need my pinpointer. Just there. Is that a coin or is it going to be a button? Oh, that's got to be a coin, surely. Yeah, 100%. Some sort of old coin here. Very green, very corroded, but probably a Queen Victoria. Yeah, probably a Queen Victoria half penny. Probably 1860s, 1870s. Very nice coin. We're going to call it there for today, guys. It's been a great day out. We found lots. Hope you enjoyed that, Katie. Loved it. It was great coming out. Yeah. And go check out Katie's podcasts, Detecting History podcast. It's amazing. I've been on there before. Loads of the people, Grim Bleeper, um, Digger Dawn, loads of other people. They're great podcasts, honestly. Love listening to them. So thank you so much, Katie. We'll definitely be out again soon. Oh, for sure. For yeah, sure. and Thanks. I can't wait to come back on this field. Probably again next week and get some more because there's definitely a lot more to come out of here. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you at the Roundup. Welcome to the Roundup, everyone. Before I show you all these amazing bits, I just want to show you all of these finds right here. Look at everything we have. So this is just the stuff that is good, but it's not amazing. Look how many buttons we've got. Look at that massive buckle. Loads of old bits. This field was absolutely packed. We had so many other cool bits here as well. Start off with the artifacts, then I move on to the coins. Big variety here. I love this crotal bell. It's amazing condition. Sadly, it's not complete though, which is very annoying. 
There we go. Look at that lovely detail. Stunning. Two thimbles here. This one, nice, probably 1800s. You can see it's got squares on the top if it focuses. And then dots, like that. But in this one is actually a beehive thimble, or part of one. Which is like the handmade medieval thimbles. So probably 15, 1400s on that, which is nice. Lovely. Part of an old buckle there, I showed you guys that. This lovely post medieval book clasp. It was lovely. You can see it would have been attached there, screwed in there, and then it would just a nice little clip there to hold the book together, which is lovely. Old medieval palm guard, it's cool. Have it in the palm of your hand like that. Usually blacksmiths would have had these with a piece of leather over the top to bang in nails and stuff. You can see where it's mainly been hit and been a nice big dent now, which is cool. Awesome. This lovely medieval spectacle buckle, about 1400s there. Very nice buckle, that's going in the cabinet. Absolutely love that. And then we've got my locket here, which is awesome. Got the lovely design on the front, silver on the back. And then you've got the glass. You can still see the paper at the back of there. There's nothing on the paper though the glass there as well which is so cool it's probably victorian we've got this lovely uh, post medieval mount which is cool probably on a piece of leather maybe a horse harness some very nice decoration on there though which is lovely we've got an old leaf which i don't really know what that's from probably would have been from a brooch or something though which is cool and then a medieval belt mount which is very nice probably 14 1500s now onto the coins i've got to start off with the roman coin this coin is very very nice and i'm pretty positive i've got an exact idea on it as well you can see the god standing up there and you can see c there would have been an s there which is to kind of show the coin is real from the mint and you can just make out his head there and that, I'm 99% sure, is Caligula. And it is a brass Dupondius of Caligula struck for his mother, Antonio, Antonia, who died in AD 37. Which is very, very nice. And Caligula himself reigned around 41 AD to 54 AD, which is beautiful, amazing coin. We've got a couple more crusty coins here. George II Halfpenny, George II Farthing. That one's alright, that one's got big detail on. Just make out the head there. This is nice, Queen Victoria. Halfpenny. Not great condition though. I think it was 1864. Just make out Queen Victoria facing left. And then also a Queen Victoria Farthing, which is decent. just make a little head there awesome so that is it for today guys really hope you enjoyed that video it was an awesome day some insane finds and next week's video is going to be unreal we're detecting on the site of where charles darwin went for hydrotherapy classes and queen victoria also visited there honestly it's gonna be amazing brand new permission i'll see you guys next week.